something interesting happened a couple of days ago. The mining rig which I use for content creation here on YouTube finally mined its first block of Ethereum. That led me to investigate how long the estimates are for a rig of this size to mine its first block on solar mining. The estimates at the time of making this video for a rig that mines 409 mega ashes per second is 391 days. This specific rig, however, did not start out as a 409 mega ashes per second rig from the get-go. It started with one card, which actually did not want to work, or I was so new to this that I couldn't get it to work myself. You have to remember I'm a financial specialist by trade, not an IT professional. Before starting to mine crypto, the most advanced action I did with regards to the inside of a PC was change a stick of RAM. Luckily that has all changed and I would say that I'm proficient at handling most PC components and getting them to work. Which is why I also have a couple of how to fix error videos when it comes to mining. Like I said, the rig started out as a one card rig, then I added another card and another card and another card and now I have 12 GPUs on on the one rig mining away which makes up the total of 409 mega ashes per second however seeing as this is a comparison in theory we will normalize the data and assume a couple of steps if the rig started at 409 mega ashes per second from the start and i did start mining with this rig in june 2021 now if you have been following my channel you will know that i do daily videos on maximizing your mining rewards and making sure that you mine to the most profitable pools. And don't believe anyone if they say all pools are created equal. The data proves that they are not. So we will assume that I was mining to the most profitable pools since the start. And at the time of finding the block, I was mining 304 days on that specific rig. And I know now that the rig pulls 1,200 watts. The specific block that I found was with $7,131.36 which is what I would have received if I was solo mining and found a specific block. Bearing in mind that I would have had to cover all the electricity cost myself for that 304 day period. Yes, the stats show that I was lucky with finding that block in 304 days without actually any promise of finding any block. That is what solo mining is all about. High risk, high reward or high risk and no reward. Now getting back to the calculations, the electricity cost I would have had to cover out of my own pocket would have been for 304 days with the rig running at 1200 watts and at a cost of 15 cents per kilowatt that would have given a total of 8755 kilowatt hours and that would have cost me $1313. Now comparing it to the best and most profitable pool, which I find in my daily videos with my ETH pool comparisons, 409 mega ashes per second for 304 days would also cost $1,313 electricity. Because mining solo or mining to a pool, you pay the same amount of electricity. However, when you mine to a pool, you can get payouts that help you cover the cost of that electricity. Now the total return on the specific pool would have been $6,612 US dollars, which is $518 US dollars less compared to the solo mining reward. However, I had regular payouts which helped me buy new cards and help pay for the electricity cost. Therefore, I would say that I am using the safer approach to mining with a lot lower risk and slightly lower reward, which is also one of the reasons why I'm staying on top of which pool gives you the highest reward. And I'm releasing those videos daily on YouTube. Now, just for interest sake, if I compare the same period with the same stats to the lowest out of the 10 pools, then that would have resulted in $290 less. So therefore, don't let anyone tell you all mining pools are created equal. I'm proving on a daily basis that they're not. Enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers.